I just brought in this basket I cut. Um, I had taken the compost out and saw that there was a bunch of <laughs> to cut again. They are pretty big. And it day before yesterday I cut everything. And these were small. It, they really grow fast. I'm going to put this on pause and go out there. Okay, I unpaused it. I... I'm going to start up here. I've cleared this area out. I've got some of uh, my fall tomatoes are in. Eggplant still going. So, uh, oregano there. And I'm going to work these up for some uh, more tomatoes that I've got up there and started in plants in the pots. I mean, sweet potatoes. I've about to cut them again. I keep wanting to put my trellis back up here, you know, a short one, because I had took down the big one, because that when I put the uh, shade cloth up, I ate the ones that I cut before. Um, need to cut these again and then get my trellis up, because these guys will be ready in September, maybe, maybe the end of this month, August. This is August the first, 2022. Had the grass cut. I got a still weedy right up in here. My pole. <laughs> I'm going to do something about that. But right now, i am just got it held up. I got the wheel chalked over there. So that it can't fall over so I can still hang my clothes. Because I haven't put the, you know, done the breaker for the dryer and run the line yet. Now this compost corral's really filled out. A lot of that's morning glory. Some of it is a uh, sweet potato vine. The Beauregards are planted out here. And compost is kind of being taken over on this end, but I, I stopped layering it there. I'm going to go on over there to that corner and then start layering back that way. The okra's done very well. If you saw the earlier videos, when they were itty bitty, and I was using shade cloth because they, it was so hot and we had such early hot weather and no rain. Now we've been getting pretty good rain. Not the last few days, but yeah, this one's really tall right here, this guy. <laughs> Look at the roots on that thing coming out of there. These are Clemson spineless. It's the only ones I planted. I've got seeds for the others, but I might try to do a fall crop, but I don't think I will. You notice these leaves, it recovered, but this poor thing was really ate up with aphids. I sprayed one time with spinosad, and uh, this one had it pretty bad too, but you saw how they reco recovered. I had sprayed all of them, but those two over there were the worst with that ate up with aphids. I just think the flowers are so beautiful on okra. This is almost taller than me. I guess it is taller than me actually. <laughs> Especially if I stand in the in the middle. Yeah, I during that dry spell, I'd bring the hose out here and just flood this. Soak it for hours. I love okra, and I've been getting some every day, every other day, and I cut up a bunch of it and put it in the freezer to flash freeze it. I'm going to put it in bags, and so I, I fermented a bunch of it, and I ate a bunch of it <laughs> raw in salads, and steamed, and all kinds of things, Gro okra gumbo I made. Well. I guess that's it for right now. I moved my sunchokes over there, the pots, because they were up under there and they had reached a height that they kept, the, the shade cloth kept uh, touching them. I don't know if that's thunder I'm hearing or what. Kind of looks like could be over that way. I don't know, I want to hurry up and weed eat this right here.
and then go work in the house on some stuff <laughs> try to clear finish clearing an area so I can try to unload that mobile attic I know I say that every month I'm working at it <laughs> takes time by myself you know just walk up here one more time up here before I turn this off rosemary these oh my gosh they turned red from yesterday I was out here yesterday and got a bunch of them yeah I need to get out here and get them I got that bucket right there upside down because I've been standing on it to get to them I even brought a ladder over here yeah these are from the suckers that I had taken off of the tomato plants um, I've got a, quite a few romas off of those out there and this one here and I guess that's about it I got pineapple in a water thing there I want to plant it I brought that one from down to the house one or two I think one's still living I mean it is still living I know that it is over there on the other side with the yucca plants and stuff I don't know if I could put it on here I just guess I'll walk over there real quick I really been working at killing them Nandina I finally got it cut down to the ground I've been raking up this to put in my compost cutting the grass I wish I had a yard rake thing that pulled behind the mower see oh I'm so happy I'll keep it cut I've got to get in here with some cutters and cut those down and under here I was trying to smother it out with cardboard just to see how it would work I'm gonna pull that off of there and finish cutting that one of these days yeah this has come out real well I'm so happy I'm gonna move these I haven't decided where yet but um, there's the pineapple right there and I'm trying to see I don't know if there's any other one here I don't think so no um, yeah so where all them stumps are right there where I had the trees cut down except for that big one I'm thinking about uh, making a very large landscape bed I was trying to I was looking out there and not at my finger but you know like having leaving room over here that I can get a pickup truck and trailer through if I want to to the back um, but I'm gonna trim that tree up some more at the bottom I just want, you know, like a main leader, really. Maybe, we'll see how it goes. I might leave a couple leaders, but um, anyway, then just a huge bed that encompasses the, uh, I have to cut that one stump that's an outlier over here, right there. And I'm going to move my um, wisteria. I brought that from down at my house uh, that I had been babying down there growing into a little tree form so that I could bring it up here um, so anyway that's what I'm thinking is to do a huge bed right there and then put these out there in it and I won't have to worry about the stumps that are in there and I can just do a lot of other perennials up in there too and maybe some annuals you know during the spring because uh, I have a lot of wood chips I can mulch with and that's what I'm thinking about right now anyway because I want to open this area up take that pole down I was originally going to put a fence up across here and have a little area for tango back here but I've changed my mind since I moved up here um, He's in the house, air, air conditioned. It's been nice in there, I tell you, since I put that unit in the window. I've got part of the house blocked off in there, if you saw the other video. But that little uh, 8,000, I can't believe it. It keeps it, you know, like 
during the hottest part of the day, you know, this is around two or three, um, it's only, it gets up to like 84 in there, so, and the humidity is only maybe 50, you know, 45, 50, 60 maybe at the highest. Oh, I think I need to water. This guy's looking kind of wilty. I'm definitely putting them in the ground next year. I should have a lot of tubers in there that I can uh, plant a nice big area. I, I just didn't, had never grown them before, so I wasn't sure about where I really wanted them to begin with, because they, um, I guess they're like, you know, sweet potatoes or anything, any other tuber, they will multiply if you don't get them all up out of the ground. And I'm just going to plant them again, you know, because I want to eat them. <laughs> the tubers. I guess they'll make flowers eventually. I think they're supposed to go until like September, October. I think they should be flowering maybe toward the end of this month. This is August 2022. I said that already, August 1st. Now I still, I've cut around this and weed eat it around it, but I need to get start getting that wood cut up um, you know to move so I can drive through this side over here I need to call the mill guy too I hadn't done that yet either well let me go get busy doing something <laughs>